Hey girlfriends, thank you so much for tuning into Tish B TV. Today I wanted to show you how I made this super cute baby shower diaper cake in under an hour. Let's get started. I used a 42 pack of diapers. This is going to be a small diaper cake. A paper mache letter W that I needed to flip over to make an M. <laughs> Acrylic paint. Safety pins, large safety pins. A rubber band two inch ribbon, stuffed animal and burlap ribbon, scissors, hot glue gun, and curling ribbon, and optional, these cute little wooden animals. Okay, you're seeing me here just paint the letter. I gave it about two or three coats of the acrylic paint. While I'm letting my letter dry, I am going to start rolling the diapers. Um, just about five of them and this is optional you can do your entire cake this way I'm not going to do it this way but I'm going to show you how you can just by rolling the diapers and securing with the rubber band if you're going to do your entire cake rolled I would suggest using the very small rubber bands to secure your rolled diaper find the opening and then that's where you want to start rolling your your first roll and then just secure it with one of your small rubber bands okay I am going to start working on my tears and I am going to use this ribbon as a template you can use a cake pan if you'd like or any other item this is just something I had on hand and it's very simple to secure it I am going to staple it don't worry about the staples I'll show you why these won't be a problem a little later on I'll use these bottles to embellish later on Okay, so what you're seeing here is me just lining the inside of the ribbon with the diapers just like this. I mean, super, super simple. And I'm just going to fill in that circle, placing the diapers in a circular motion. Now I almost have it stuffed to where I need it and I can put a bottle in the center if I want to or if you want to or you can add something else to keep it sturdy to stuff in there. You can do a baby blanket, anything that you want to stuff in there and it can be a surprise for mommy. So you see me doing the second tier and I just mapped out how big I wanted the second tier to be, cut the ribbon to that size secured it with staples and now I'm going to just stuff this tier with the diapers now if you have large gaps in your diapers you can easily move them down however you want to here it is stuffed and now as you can see I'm using this bottle for for just this example to show you how I can secure both tiers together. You can use wooden dowels if you'd like or anything else sturdy to stick into the diaper, but the bottle will work just fine. If you wanna do a two tier cake, you will be finished, but I'm going to add a third tier. Now, what, what you're seeing here is the rolled diapers. If you don't want to do the wrapped diapers, you have an option you can do the roll diapers or you can do the wrapped ones like we did tiers one and two that's just one option I think it would still look good if you switched it up 
but for this particular cake I'm not going to use the rolled diapers I'm going to wrap them so I'm grabbing about six diapers and I'm not going to cut ribbon to make the template for the size I'm just going to simply roll these diapers or form them into a circle just like so because it's not that many so when I get the form how I pretty much want the size to be I'm going to now secure this with a rubber band a very large rubber band and now I can start adjusting the diapers to how I want them to look There we go. It's nice and tight. Okay, that's what it will look like. Now, I'm going to show you uh, how you can add something else to keep your tears together. So, I'll take out the bottle. If you have an empty paper roll towel or cardstock, you can roll that up and use this to secure your three tiers. If you have a taller cake, you can add to it or you can use wooden dowels. But if you have an empty paper towel roll, go ahead and use that. Okay, so I am going to stick something at the top and I need to cut this down just a tad. And then add my top tier back on and make sure that I have room at the top to stick something in there again you can use wooden dowels or anything of your choice that will keep your tears together now I'm going to eventually take off this pink ribbon that I used as a template so I'm just going to tie the ribbon around each tier very tightly I'm gonna make knots maybe two knots just to make sure that the cake does not come loose and I thought I was going to cut the ribbon off but it's very easy to slide off just like so and you can use this ribbon for another diaper cake to use as your base or your template I'm going to do the same thing for tiers two and three. Now I'm using the curl and ribbon because I think it gives a cleaner look when I want to add the finished ribbon to it so now I'm going to look around and make sure that this ribbon is centered on each tier again I don't want it to be seen through the ribbon that I'll use to finish off the decorating of this cake Okay, so now I'm going to use my two inch ribbon going back with that pink ribbon that I used to make the template and I am going to line the bottom of each tier with this ribbon because I'm going to use the burlap to go on top of the pink ribbon so that's what you see me doing here is just adding the ribbon and I'm not getting any of the hot glue that I'm using onto the diaper I am only making sure that I glue the ribbon together, not touching the diaper. I want the mommy to be to be able to use these diapers. And this is what I'm doing with the burlap. I'm letting a little bit of the pink show at the bottom. And I love this print ribbon. So I'm just going to go over the burlap in the center of it and add a smaller embellishing ribbon accent.
Okay, remember that W that I turned over and made it into an M? I am now going to secure it to the cake only at the bottom so that it doesn't um, affect the diapers with the glue. I'm gonna put a nice amount of hot glue on there and secure it only to the ribbon. Mommy to be can use this in the baby's nursery if she chooses. Make sure that it's on there good and secure. Looks good. Okay, so to add the stuffed animal to the cake, I'm using one of the large safety pins and I'm just going to pin it together underneath the animal's hand so you can't see the pins. It looks like he's hugging. And then with the wooden animals, I have these cute little bows that I got from Hobby Lobby a while back and I'm gonna add those bows to turn them into little girls. <laughs> and add them to the cake using the hot glue. And here is a finished product. You see I added the bottle. The monkey is on here using safety pins only, no glue. Here are little wooden animals on the cake. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not an official girlfriend of this channel, please don't leave without subscribing and click the little bell right next to the subscription button so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment down in the comment box. And if you'd like, send me an email to hello at tishbullard.com. You can find me on Instagram at I am Tish Bullard and at Tish Bullard Events. Until next time, design and live the life that you love. Bye, girlfriends.